gosh, look at the new studio. Oh my so gosh. It's so cool. Cool. Wow, oh, this, this is just nice. Green screen. Yeah, this is one of the new things in our school. Not only our school, but our district gets new things every year. Really? And our school is so old that it is the second oldest school here in California. Wow. wow. Yeah, and I know a lot of history about this old district. The first people that lived in this antelope area were the Maidu tribe. Then Spanish explorers came. John Sutter was one of the first settlers in the Sacramento area. Then James Marshall discovered gold nearby Sutter's Mill in 1848. Soon, it seemed like everyone wanted to come to California. Many pioneers traveled by covered wagons to get here. Men settled in our area after trying to find their fortune and gold, bringing their families. In 1858, Alicia Sample Driver helped establish the school district number two called the Center School District. J.G. Gold helped form the Union School District for children in Placerville County in 1862. In 1896, they built a bigger school that was also used as the community meeting house. Soon after, Clerk A. Keithley bought an old church bell. The 700-pound bell may be the oldest in the Sacramento area. In 1908, the two districts decided it would be better to join together into the Center Joint School District. Center, because it was halfway between Sacramento and Rockland, joined because the students came from both Sacramento and Placer counties. Center Joint School was looking run down, so in 1927 they tore it down and built a nice red brick school. In 1936, McClellan Airfield was built, which led to a big population growth. With the huge military housing project, Cape Hart, was completed in 1958. A new center joint school was built as well as the new Dudley Elementary School. This was named after Arthur Dudley, a man after called the father of McClellan because he worked hard to get the base here. More and more people came to live in the Antelope area, so in 1965, Spinelli Elementary was built, which was named after a fine man, Cyril Spinelli, who served on the school board for 20 years. By 1984, our district not only had a junior high, but a new high school. We were now Center Joint Unified School District. In 1990, my own school, North Country, opened its doors. That was followed by the last elementary school to join our district, Oak Hill, in 1994. CJUSD's newest school is Wilson C. Riles Middle School. Built in 2005, it was named after Wilson Kamanza Riles, the first Af African American in the nation to be elected state superintendent of schools. Wow, you sure do know a lot about our district. I wonder who would know more about our school. Hey, I know just a person to ask. Mr. Craig Deason. Thank you for stopping by during your busy schedule. We have heard many great things about you. We've also heard that you've been an employee here for a long time. Can you tell us what roles you've had? Well, I started um, in the district in 1985, and I started over at Dudley Elementary School. Um, when they opened this school in 1990, it was a brand new school, um, I moved from Dudley over here, and I stayed here for about 11 years, and I was a fifth grade teacher. One of my favorite jobs is I taught science to kindergarten through sixth grade, and I rolled my cart around, and I taught um, everybody hands-on science. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then I um, wrote some curriculum. Um, and basically what I did was I um, developed websites when the internet kind of first got started. And we, we found internet sites that worked with the reading books that you guys read. And people were able to get on the computer and, um, and go to websites that talked about the, um, about the um, books that you were reading. So that, that was a lot of fun. And then I became vice principal here. Um, so I was vice principal here for um, about four years. And then at that point, that's when I moved over to the district office and became the assistant superintendent for facilities and operations. 
this district. Uh, we also remember that you were part of the planning for the North Country's beautiful nature center and garden. Can you explain how? Um, it was it was a long process. We started with the the nature center. So when they started building the school, um, that area out between the um, between the buildings was supposed to be all grass, and and we asked if we could. Um, um, actually, it was supposed to be all concrete, and we asked if we could put some boxes in there and actually um, build a nature center and a history center. So each one of those boxes was supposed to be for a, a piece of California history, the Native Americans, the um, the gold rush, the expansion west, um, and things like that. So that's, that's kind of how it got started, and we had a lot of students that helped um, put in the, the watering system, and we planted all California natives in there, California native plants um, that grow in California not needing a lot of water. So it kind of ties into the drought we've been having. Um, it's nice when you have plants that'll grow even when, the, when it doesn't rain a whole lot. Um, and then we expanded to the garden, and the garden was... Um, interesting i went to a class up in auburn at a school that had a garden and i learned all about it um, from them and then four teachers um, from this school went down to santa cruz and learned about it was called project life lab and project life lab was how you take a garden and teach science through the garden so we learned all the different activities to do with kids down there and then we brought it back here and um, and did that um, built the greenhouse, built the planter boxes, and um, put the watering system in for that too. So um, I'm glad it's still going strong today. In charge of is building new schools, and um, I haven't gotten to build one yet. Um, but we have a lot of growth that's going to happen in the district. They're going to build a lot of houses. They're going to build probably 30,000 houses inside of our district in the next 40 years. So that means we're going to need 13 elementary schools, three middle schools, and at least two high schools over the next 40 years. So um, I guess the vision that we have is we want to keep our small district feel, okay? There's, there's something about a, a district that's been around for a long time, um, and the people that work here have worked here for a long time and they really know how to create a great place for kids. And that's what we want to carry on as we get bigger, and that's the tricky part. How do you keep a small town feel when you turn into a big city? So that's what we're gonna work on. And one more question for me. What do you call 150 year celebration? Well, we had it back in 2008, I believe. That was when we were 150 years old. Um, our district was founded in 1858, um, so that would have been 2008, 150 years, and it's called the Sesquicentennial Celebration. That's a celebration of 100 years, 150 years. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So I hope you learned some things about our school district. Center Joint Unified School District!